So we've shit talked about this for a long time. Is it time for not shit talking? Oh my gosh. I mean, I tweeted a while ago that, hey, we're doing a bunch of stuff. And I tweeted these pictures of all those like video equipment we had set up. And you know, we do Radio Free Equestria and we do these like Geek Nights minis and all this other stuff. But uh, a lot of people have asked us to watch Utena again and do a Final Thoughts episode. We haven't done nearly as many of those as we should have. Well, Utena is sort of an infamous show, right? It's been around for a long time. We've watched it. I've watched it twice. How many times have you watched it? I've seen Utena all the way through four times. Yeah, a lot of times. It's like Rim's favorite show ever. and it, It's an A anime. Oh, yeah. Like, A. But it's infamous because this show in particular, compared to other animes, right, is that it has a lot of this really kind of weird imagery. It's low budget. But there's all this stuff going on, like, you know, why is Mickey always stopping his stopwatch? And why are there cats in the background? And what's up with those shadow girls? It also it, starts kind of like a stereotypical shoujo, like, oh, there's a bunch of people at a school fighting over a ring and a rose rod and all this stuff. Yeah, it's like the actual stuff that goes on is pretty straightforward. Until the second season when it goes crazy dark. <laughs> but, you Burning know. Burning coffins. There's and just lots of just, you know imagery all over the place and it makes people really have a hard time with the show it's like what does that symbolize and what does that mean and what's going on here and yada yada so we thought hey let's watch it's got doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. <laughs> yeah it's like i mean we're talking there's episodes later on where there'll be a cat and there'll be a finger blinking on the screen pointing, pointing at, at the, the cat. cat and then they'll cut away and cut back to the cats on the windowsill while someone's talking there'll be two cats and the finger will blink again It'll cut away and come back. There'll be no cat. Then it cuts to the like the glass the guy's drinking from, and there's lipstick from the girl who was just there. It's pointing at the lipstick. Right, and a lot of this is dual purpose. On the one hand, they can have someone talking without having to have a mouth moving, and they can save a lot in animation. It's really e easy to animate a hand being there and then not being there. It's harder <laughs> to animate a mouth going <laughs> along with some words. Right? It's more work, especially this is all hand-drawn. They weren't using computers, except for the really bad CG castle. Hanging from the ceiling, <laughs> it spins around. But anyway, it one, many people we know watch the show all the way through, mostly on our recommendation, and then they come to us and say, but Rim and Scott, what was that show about? And the answer is actually really complicated. <laughs> I mean, you know, a lot of the symbolisms and weird imagery is just weird and isn't really important. But it's deep but enough, <laughs> the allegory is strong, and the show is such that it is consistent on multiple levels. You can look at it from a few different perspectives, and it's completely consistent in all of them. Yeah, and the show does mean something, right? It's not uh, just some nonsense situation. Yeah, it makes some points along the way. It makes it has a few like tangential ideas, but the key is it's a complex show that's difficult to analyze. Uh, much like how Ava is actually very difficult for a lot of people to understand. Mm -hmm. Though there's a JPEG that explains that one. There is, <laughs> but. We did a Final Thoughts episode on like ja, Big O and Big O 2 and all these, Trigun, all these other shows. And everyone for years have asked us to do that for Shoujo Kakame Utena. So we're going to go one step further. We're going to do Final Thoughts episode by episode for the entire 39 episodes of Shoujo Kakame Utena. 39 fucking episodes, holy shit. Yeah. Uh, Thing is, it's... Can we not do this? It's been, it's been time. I just watched Cowboy Bebop again. You know what? God damn, is that a good show. Oh, yeah. I just watched... I want to watch Gundam Seed again. And I realized... <laughs> it's not as good, but it's a good. Yeah. Monica Magic, I could watch that again. I watch that 10 times. So, uh, you know you're right. When you watch it, I'm going to... You know, I've seen Utena four times. We just watched the first episode of Shoujo Kakame Utena again. Just now. For the first... I haven't seen it in years. And I have this burning desire to watch more of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, if you have not seen Utena at all... We're only going to spoil the episode we just talked about. So you should probably watch it and then, you know, go along with us. And uh, it, maybe we will be able to enhance your viewing experience because commentary from Ikuhara ain't going to do it. <laughs> he really likes that sort of thing. Oh, he does. Now, if you never watched Utena because you thought it was some shoujo crap and you don't believe us and you're not just willing to watch the entire show on Faith Alone... I will, you should do something that I have had many other people do who are reluctant to watch the show. Uh, watch, there's an episode from a, the second season. I'll send a link to the actual details or whatever. But it's a two-part episode that spoils a ton of stuff, but simultaneously shows you what the show is really about. The one with Wakaba and the Onion King and all that stuff. So that was mentioned in episode one. If you watch those episodes, that is what Utena is really about. 
And I don't think you need to watch those. No, that is that is if you are stupid and aren't listening to us right now when we tell you to watch the show. I put this show right up there with Cowboy Bebop and Evangelion as a great anime for all time. Yep. And it has stood the test of time. It has indeed. (laughs) 